Aloha, my name is Ola Mana and today I'm gonna do the video in English because I'm visiting a lecture which is also in English. Currently I'm in Delft, uh, which is a nice uh, small city in the Netherlands. And the lecture is gonna be given by a monk from Tibet. Well, actually he is um, a Lama. And the Lama is someone who is indeed a monk, but he can also give lectures and he can be seen as a teacher. Look, Delft is so cool, yay! <laughs> so basically, this man is going to talk about the three poisons in life, which are greed, anger and ignorance. I have arrived, here it is, at the Banyan Yoga. I'm very curious what this man is going to teach me today. So let's see! Hi there! So I just got home from Delft and I really enjoyed this uh, lecture. Yes, way better! So I can just leave the phone like this and I can talk. Um, this man, yes, if I'm correctly to pronounce his name is Lama Jikme Jungal. Okay, don't get angry if I don't pronounce his name correctly. Um, what I want to say about him, that is a good question. Actually, I believe you should have been there because in order to get the right content, you have to be there at the moment. It should be one line directly, face to face. And I can tell you all about what he had to say. However, um, uh, it will be my interpretation and also then again your interpretation. This is sort of like a third line. And it's also filmed uh, directly from my house right now. While the energy there in the room was completely different than it is at this moment with just me, myself, in my house. So, what I do want to tell you is that such an experience to listen to someone who has studied the mind for over nine years, understanding how the mind works and how to deal with negative and positive um, thoughts or emotions, is interesting. Uh, what I do want to tell you is if you're interested, go search for uh, people who have more experience in this field. Try to find a coach or uh, a lama or a guru, someone who can teach you about his wisdom. Something to remember though is that when you go home, you are the one who can focus on the thoughts that you want to take home. And that is something he said. Before you go home, remember yourself, what do I want to bring with me? Maybe you have negative thoughts about things as well. You went out for a party or you went out for dinner or you had work to do this day or whatever you did uh, the last hour, you can take those thoughts home. And we seem to be very critical. So for example, we can say dinner was fun, but I had way too much to drink. I've met such a wonderful people but there was this one guy who or another example i've done a lot of work today however i didn't got to do that one thing so this can go on and on and on and i think that's a good lesson for now this is something that we tend to do how do you deal with this how do you think you can change this Maybe in the future, next time, you could stop at the sentence I had such a, wo such a wonderful dinner, dot Or I had such a wonderful bike ride, dot um, There were wonderful people there, dot Don't always look for also the negative side Try to focus only at the first part of what you said And also try to, to analyze it 
maybe at this moment when you're listening to this video, you don't feel it quite yet. However, the next time when someone asks you how was your evening or how was your day, let's see if you can really grasp onto it and see that you yourself are doing this as well. Maybe then you're like, oh wait, here's that sentence, but I had a wonderful day, but... And let me know how much you are aware of what goes into your mind and what, uh, what you're thinking of. Do you feel very much connected with your thoughts or do you sometimes just look at your thoughts and let them be for what they are? How do you deal with this? That's the question basically. Because it is possible with, for example, meditation or mindfulness to see those thoughts separate from yourself. Because basically these kind of thoughts are just in your head. How much do you feel uh, connected to those thoughts? That's, that's the question. Do you feel that you are those thoughts or are those thoughts just coming and going through your mind, like a wave, for example, in the sea, or like a cloud on the sky. And the last thing I want to show you is a photo of this man. I looked it up on the internet. So this is the man. Oopsa. He gave the lecture and... Okay, I'm going to wrap up because it's getting dark outside and I want to wish you a good evening. The last thing I can tell you is that he has two more lectures. So if you're interested, um, search for the three poisons, the lecture of three poisons. The other two lectures are going to be about um, anger and ignorance. I will also put a link uh, on top of this video. Okay, bye!